Del Sanchez, and I have a very hot and sticky title. Israel, who does it belong to? Does it belong to the Jews, or does it belong to the Palestinians? Look at the cover page so you could get a glimpse of what I'm dealing with in this probably two-part series. Israel, whose is it? Jews or Palestinians? That's what I need to say. Catholic Cal. bishops, synod, synod in the Vatican, the Melkite Greek Catholic Archbishop Cyril Bustros said, the original promises made by God to the children of Israel were nullified by Christ. That is awesome, what he's saying, awesome in a negative way. There is no longer a chosen people. And he continues, the theme of the promised land cannot be used as a basis to justify the return of the Jews to Israel and the expatri expatriation of the Palestinians. And he continues, for Christians, one can no longer talk of the land promised to the Jewish people because the promise was abolished by the presence of Christ. Who is this man? There he is. All right, this Greek Catholic archbishop, Bustros. So there you have it, hot out of the Vatican. In other words, hey, nothing, nothing can overpower or overrule the word of the Vatican, so they think, and that ultimately what God said both in the Tanakh of the Old Testament and the Christians' New Testament. So let's talk about who does it belong to. I'm going to give you, this is a teaching, this is a purebred teaching, this is didactic teaching with information that maybe many of you, if any, has ever heard. And some of it is new to me, and I've had to dig it out. The term Palestine, for Palestinian, is believed to be derived from the Bible, Philistines. Philistine. Everyone knows the story of David versus Goliath. Goliath, the giant, is a Philistine. These folks, the Philistines, were Asian people. Not Asian, but of the Sea of Asia. Uh, uh, Asian people who in the 12th century before common era they settled along the Mediterranean coastal plain which would be between between uh, the Gaza in between Gaza and Israel formerly between Greece and the Turkey. Philistines of the Bible times prevailed the longest against God's chosen people they were the most severe enemies against Israel for the longest period of time the word Philistine comes from the Hebrew word to go round about, seeking, round about, seeking. What does that mean? The, per, the word, the term Palestine, Palestine, as in Palestinian, comes from Philistine and are related by turn about or round, as in migratory. Migrat so now you get the, the, the perspective migration, migratory, roundabout, all right? Make a mental note of the word migratory, because I'm going to come to it over and over through this teaching. It comes from the word palash. Palash in Hebrew means to drag or to turn about on the soil, to turn about, to turn about on the soil. Sounds not human, does it? If you study Ezekiel 25 and Obadiah 9 and Zephaniah 9, you're going to find what I mean by this role of the Palestinian. Look at the screen. In the second century, common era, or A.D., after crushing the last Jewish revolt, the Romans first applied the name Palestina to Judea. Palestina was applied by the Romans, not by the Jews, but by the Romans. So now, what does that mean, Palestina? Because this is the gut of it. This is the heart of it. This is a, the southern portion, Palestina, as the Romans called it, the southern portion of Israel, which is now called the West Bank and much of the Negev. It was an attempt to minimize why Palestina. What were the Romans thinking when they would say Palestinian, Palestine? It's an attempt to minimize, not optimize, the Jewish identification with the land of Israel. To minimize, almost to obscure. Let's fuzz this thing so that it's no longer Israel, it's something else. It's Palestine. Palestine. So what am I saying? So that now, what is a seal? It's, forget the fact that, of course, that the UN, 
And the League of Nations gave authority to Israel to repossess or that Israel belonged to Jews. God had already said that thousands of years earlier. All I'm doing is giving you the legal and constitutional rights as to why the land of Israel belongs to Jews and not to Arabs or Palestinians.